Hey everybody, it's John back again. And uh, today I'm going to take a look at the McFarlane Merciless Build a Figure Wave. Uh, I happened to be going through GameStop the other day and they had these figures there, so I decided to pick them up. Uh, the last McFarlane figures I grabbed I really liked, so I really enjoy the designs of these metal figures. So I figured why not get a couple more. So today we'll look at uh, the Batman Who Laughs, and you can see he comes in the window box here, your Merciless on the side, the Batman Who Laughs on the edge, and the back is some artwork that goes along with the card that is inside. He does have his wings, and then we're going to take a look also at uh, Robin from Earth, negative 22, which... These guys are pretty crazy. They have, uh, there's three different ones you can have, each with a different head. And he, of course, has Merciless's body, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that has the torso left. Here's the artwork on the back of that. Then there's also the Batman with his axes. For whatever reason, I don't really know what this is one fits into. I know he fits into the Metal Universe as well, but I'm not sure how. I just picked up the comics in a couple of trades, so i got to read them yet. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm really drawn to the design work of these things. There's some artwork of him. And last but not least, we have the McFarlane's um, Superman, or the Infected Superman, which was a pretty cool comic line. There's the artwork with him there on the back as well. So, give me a moment and I will open these guys up and we'll take a closer look. Okay, let's go through this wave and we'll start with the infected Superman. Which, his uh, face sculpt is pretty fantastic. And uh, he comes with a couple of extra hands and a stand. And that's really all you get in the package. Um, he's, the ankle joints on these guys are a little weird, but they do pretty good. And thankfully he does give you a stand to help them stand up on their own. You do get the little card that has a little bit of blurb about what's going on. So he is infected with a nanotoxin at this stage in time. And it's some nice artwork. Cool little bonus. Get in here and there we go. Yeah, look at that crazy smile on his face. See the little cracks in his eye around his eyes. He looks pretty crazy. They put a little bit of paint detail on his teeth. Still got his little curl going on there. Superman logo, his suit's kind of purplish. As a result, I don't know why a toxin would change your suit color, but you know. And he's got his little underoos on. Not a whole lot of detailing on the figure other than that. He's got his torn up and tattered cape on the back. Just kind of soft and flexible. Kind of tastes, taste, kind of feels like a, I don't know, an animal tongue. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I do like that he comes with some extra hands. He is awfully pale, but eh, oh yeah, they come off pretty easy. I do like these kind of grab and choke your hands that he comes with. Hmm. It doesn't want to go on as easy as it came off. There it goes. Sorry about that. Hitting my stand a little light. There. Yeah, I kind of like those hands better. There's a little bit more gesturing going on. I think these all pretty much have the same kind of articulation. You can get some good movement out of his head. I think it's just on a ball joint. Oh, there's any hinge in there, but he can look up and down, and you can spin his head around and put it. It holds its direction very well, so you get some creepy little looks out of this guy. 
And he does have a butterfly joint in here. And then the shoulders on the inside on a peg. So you get some forward, back, up and down. Does have a, a nice bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow, which is always a good thing. And then he's got rotation and hinges at both the top and bottom of his wrist, so you get a lot of movement out of there. Just kind of hard to get that to turn and line up, but with some work you can get it there. It's got the diaphragm joint. It doesn't go forward very much, it does go back a little bit, and it does turn side to side there. He also has a little bit of a waist movement, not a whole lot. It doesn't want to turn too much, it might just be really tight on this figure. The arms go, my legs go out about to here. This isn't as soft as I thought it would be. You know, not a whole lot of forward. Not really any back. And you do get a hinge there at the upper thigh where it's attached. It does have his double, joint, double jointed knees. Which go to about here. No boot cut rotation. And you do have some rotation and a hinge at his ankle, which doesn't really give you any rocker, but you can do some rotation with him, and he has a toe. Because, I don't know, because they just wanted to add another point of articulation to bring it from 20 to probably 22. I guess I would I would have rather had a rocker than toe joint, but that's just me. And then we Stick him on a stand, so hopefully he'll hold up a little bit better back here. What do we got next? Let's go with the uh, Batman Who Laughs. His card. Okay, again. I always thought this guy was pretty cool. He looks like if you let Clive Barker redesign Batman and he made him one of his Cenobites. Here's the card he comes with. And again, I just I just picked up the trade paperbacks. Most of these, um, yeah, so, but I know his basic story. And if you don't, um, it'd definitely be one to read. But man, look at that mouth. Those teeth are all painted, pretty dirty looking, his tongue's a different color. Put some saliva shine in there. And it's got all those details and buckles. It's a little abdomen piece. And it's got this tattered little jacket that he has that goes down to his legs. He's got these cool little buckles on his arms. He's wearing some pants. Cool if there's a little bit of paint on his boots, but they probably had to save some somewhere. The tattering's a nice look. You can see there where his shoulder harnesses go. And for now, I'm just gonna stick him on his little stand. As we get to his wings, which are pretty cool. Nice little gray touch to him. This feels like it's a super tight joint, so. Hmm. Let's see how easy this is. <clears throat> Not too bad. And then can you. Oh, yeah. And then they. Once they're in there. Hmm. I don't kind of want to rotate it so that. There we go. So once you, you have to manipulate it a little bit. That is my cat going crazy in the background. But now he's really heavy, and I don't even know if the stand's gonna help. His foot doesn't want to go on the peg very well. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a tough one to stand. Other one in like 
this. That way we can turn it again and get it angled. There, he's got his wings on. They are pretty cool. Oh, but standing him up is going to be fun. Yeah, he's super heavy. Holy cow. going to take some work to get to stand on the shelf. Oof. Anyway. <laughs> Man. Um, ouch. On those spikes. Same thing with his head. It does move. It looks like it moves at the neck as well. Yep. So he's got a joint there and down here. Soft there, but you still don't get a whole lot of movement out of this guy. He has the same kind of arms and biceps. Double jointed elbows as well. Same wrist and hands. I like his little gesturing hand he's got over here as well. Now he's got different... Not a whole lot of give on those, but they do move. And they're sculpted. Well, he gets a lot more forward than Superman did, that's for sure. And he's a little bit of back. And there's a little bit you can do with the th upper thigh, but it's a weird cut. You can tell that they sculpted this and just added the cut point in. It's got some pretty good double jointed knees. No boot cut, and then he's got the same kind of. Feels. Oh, yeah, he's got. Okay, there is rocker in there. Maybe Superman's are just. A little tight. And the toe, which is going to be unnecessarily frustrating on this guy because his toe is going to always want to flex when you're trying to move him forward. It almost feels like one of his legs is a little bit longer than the other. Yeah, look at what's with the foot. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. You gonna stay? Yeah, you're not gonna stay. So we're gonna, you're gonna go back here. Beautifully sculpted. Trying to get him to stand is gonna be something else. Gotta stop hitting that. Sorry if that's annoying. Oh, there it is. And we have our Batman. This is a updated version of Batman where he's using axes and I don't really know. But here is his cool little card art. His accessories, of course, are these axes. He comes with. <clears throat> Definitely gotta read the storyline. Boy, they're gonna be a tight fit into his hand. There's almost no give to him. Oh. There we go. There's one. It's kind of interesting to see Batman using uh, his medieval weapons, I guess. Ouch. <laughs> You're a little on the painful side to slide in here. Once you get it past that top finger, though, it kind of wants to go in there. Holy cow. Why'd you make the the X at handle so thick and then... What the hell? Are these made by two different groups? That handle's huge. There. Holy cow. Okay, that, that took some work. But there, he's got his... Plural X. He's a little back heavy too. But doing it might work a little bit better. Well, okay. Oh, his head's pretty stiff. So 
And then we have our nicely sculpted Batman. His cowl looks pretty good. It's grimacing face. There's the bat logo. A little bat belt. A little techno details. I really like the sweepiness of the cape that he's got on. I think that's a really nice touch. Oh, way down to his nice little boots. He's got some rips and tears into his clothing, which is just a pretty cool detail. Quite a bit of gap in the back. Some nice little elbow pads he's got. So, as I said, he's pretty much the same. It's a head movement. He's super tall. <coughs> he's taller than Superman, which is a little weird. Guess some of the scaling is still a bit weird with these guys. Same shoulder setup. These are some pretty good movement. Same bicep, double jointed elbows, same kind of wrists. He's got that. Oh, he's got a lot, a lot of movement going on in the diaphragm joint. Yeah, and his waist joint works a little bit better on him. Same setup as Superman on his legs. Let's go forward a little bit. Not a whole lot of back. Not the best amount of movement out of these guys, but his double knee works really well. Ooh, that top joint is tight. And again, no boot cut. He's got the same feet, just with a different pattern to him. Oh, he uses his stand pretty good. Okay, I'll put you back there, Batman. Oh, this guy's gonna be a problem. I mean, I like him. He's really cool. But getting him to stand on his own is gonna be something. Which leaves us with. With Robin. Earth negative 22 Robin. So, so far, I found two of these guys. I got the open. I'm gonna bite you face. And the kind of sneering little happy face. These guys are a little weird. Stay, Robin. Oh, yeah, here's his card. Yeah, a little bit of card artwork there. So we'll take a look at this guy. Got his open maw. His, I like how he's got some saliva running down the side of his face. This is a crazy head sculpt. <laughs> it's pretty creepy. Robin's head sculpt might be my favorite out of this one. Definitely this open mouth one. Did some nice touches into his hair. With these pointy ears. It's got stitching on a suit. You got a real chain that hooks just hooks on over here. He's got like the old school Robin outfit. Uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but he's got all this damaging damage to his leg. Look, they bite marks and scars and missing tissue. And he's got little kind of elf boots. Um, he's a little weird in the articulation department because the way that they have him set up. Oh. Uh, he gets some pretty good movement out of his head, that's for sure. He gets some up and down. He can get some good poses out of his head. And then his shoulders go up and out. It's just kind of weird how they look. Like they're coming out of his, right directly out of his chest. This torso piece is a rubber overlay, which I don't know what's on the inside of this guy, but it's definitely different than the rest. He does have a little bit of a bice, no, it's, uh, sleeve articulation rotation. He's got a single jointed elbow that doesn't like to bend a whole lot. His gloved hands are on those same kind of uh, connection points on his wrist. He gets a little bit of swivel in here. 
that's another rubber piece which is kind of flexible but it pulls his legs back together whenever you try to move them they just kind of pull right back to this position for whatever reason he only has a single jointed knee which is already bent to this weird angle so he'll never stand up straight so you gotta rely on his ankles which themselves are touchy he's a hard one to get to stand because his legs are just all so you know wingly mingly he definitely takes advantage of the stand and then you can get him stained pretty good I got two of these robins so far. So the only one, there's one that I'm missing. I think it's the at ease face. I'm not 100% sure. Which leaves us with merciless. I like the color of this plastic. These pop in and out. So that's the I think the butterfly joint piece. Um, out of both these bodies, this side is the one, this side pops out pretty easy on its own. Man, these are highly crazy detailed. So let's see. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to do this from... Oh, these spikes are painful. Okay, I'm going to have to go off camera for a second. Yeah, this is going to be so Okay, the arms are in. It's painful. Definitely left some marks in my hands from these spikes. Trying to put pressure in there, but he's got a pretty big, bulky body. Let's see what we got with the legs. They're kind of interesting. Mm. Difficult one. Oh, he's so sharp and pointy. Oh, I see they fit to get rid of those little crevices there. But I, is that all the way in? Again, jeepers, babies. <clears throat> okay, other leg. Ooh, he's definitely painful to put together, folks. to grab from everywhere. <sighs> yeah, this wax just doesn't... There's still a bit of a gap. Let's keep working it. <clears throat> it might be as good as that's going to get for right now. I guess that's technically an articulation point for this. Oh, he's freaking huge. I didn't realize how big he was compared to the other guys. He doesn't get a whole a lot of pulling his legs back together, so that's about as far. He's going to have a kind of a wide stance. Oh my goodness. Again, yeah, these guys have uh, hardly any give to them. Oh, he's standing. Okay, so we just have the last few pieces of him. We've got a right shoulder. Oh, at least that went on easy off camera. We got to raise up a little bit. This other one has an L on it for his left shoulder. Bad boy's huge. And then there's two holes in here. Hmm. Let's see if we can get. Uh. Does that work? Nope. Still loose. Oh, 
Oh, wrench on his head definitely is painful on the thumb as well. Get you flat footed again, maybe? Hmm? He just towers over these guys. And the sword, some cool detail on it. It's a little, little on the gummy side in the handle. But it seems to be fitting in its hand pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh he's got some painful bits on him. So if you get these guys and you put him together, just be aware that he's gonna hurt. Man, I wasn't expecting him to be this big. He just towers over everybody. So there's a close up of. Merciless's head looks a little war dukeish to me, which is pretty cool. There's a chest piece. I really like the color of the plastic and the way they pulled that all off. The skull. It's got this little plastic chain, little loin clothy thing going on. Crazy armor. It's got covered in plate armor. There's a lot of little details on this guy. A little bit of fur on the back. He is. Definitely a monster <laughs> that will stand out on the shelf. All these guys are pretty... We're definitely going to stand out. That's the one cool thing about the McFarlane figures so far, is that they're noticeable. So he doesn't get his own card, like everybody else does, which is kind of a bummer. Come on, stand up, big guy. Those toes... Is, if he didn't have the toe articulation, he'd stand a lot better. Oh my god. He's standing up. There we go. Um, and the Robin's falling over. Uh, overall, a pretty fun wave visually. Posability is going to be a little hard on some of them. Getting the Batman who has to stand up by himself is going to be a pain in the butt. <sighs> Might be good to get some other stands. I can definitely see the infected Superman needing a flight stand. But overall, they're pretty fun. Well sculpted, engineered, cool little figures. Um, I'm enjoying his work with this line, and I can't wait to see when he gets into some other kind of figures than Batman ones. I mean, don't get me wrong, those Robins are awesome. Um, maybe he'll do some Deceased. That would be kind of cool. That seems to be up his alley at this point with all these kind of weird, more monstrous looking guys with a little bit more detail. He seems to want to stray away from the normal. Uh, heroes that have been done over and over and over and over and over again, which I'll give them props for that, for doing something different. And, yeah, these are definitely not, they're, they're definitely not playable, I'm going to use that word. They're going to take some work to get into poses and things, but they're definitely pieces that people will notice. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm um, curious if you guys are picking this wave up, and if you are, what's your favorite? Have you been able to find all three Robins? I got two of the three so far, which is pretty good. Um, boy, that's a tough one, but probably I, I really like the face sculpts on the Robins, and there's just something about how strange and menacing they are that I really, really like. And I also enjoy how crazy that version of the Superman is. I like how gothic and cinnabite the Batman who laughs is in the back there. Probably this Batman's the least uh, for me out of this wave. Probably because I just don't know enough about him. And it's um, it's Batman again. I like Batman, but there's a lot of Batman. And this dude's just a big hulking beast. Whoa. Which, if he didn't have toe articulation, would be able to support himself. So, I don't know. I don't know McFarlane will ever listen to any anything I got to say or even ever care that I made a video and reviewed his products but the toe articulation on him is not the best thing it keeps him very unstable I might just have to put some glue in there to keep his feet from doing that if it, if he didn't have yeah if he didn't have the toe articulation I don't think there would be a problem getting him to stand 
but it just causes his feet to be able to bend under all that weight. Yeah, every single time. That's a bummer. I don't, I'm, I don't know. Did they, did they try to get this thing to stand after they got him produced, and we're like, eh, it's good enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm almost at 600 subscribers, which is pretty cool. So. If you'd like to continue adding to that count so I can finally, maybe one day, get to a thousand, it'd be amazing. But if not, that's fine too, because I'm just having fun and I enjoy talking to all of y'all whenever I get a chance. So, see you later. Bye. Hi, I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there will be a button down below where you can do that as well. And again, thank you.